thank you very much for uh, taking the time to join us today and for the workforce, uh, workforce Lauded Opportunity Fair and talk a little bit about some of the opportunities you have. But uh, to start, do you just want to tell us a little bit about yourself, what you do, and kind of give us an overview of Harlow's Bus Services? Yeah, um, I'm a recruiter for Harlow's School Bus Services. We have we work out of five different states, Washington, Idaho, Montana, and North and South Dakota. It originally started in North Dakota um, by a gentleman named Harlow, and he eventually grew the business and his sons took over, um, and it's grown over the last 40 years into what it is now. Um, it has transitioned, the, we call them the brothers, there, there's Harlow's bus sales, and so they're kind of focusing on that part of the business. And we are working with Landmark Transportation out of Canada now as our umbrella um, company, but we're still very much a small family-owned business. Each one of our sites, including Cowspell and Libby, and then I have some down south, also in Montana, um, you know, everyone, everyone treats everyone like family. You know, we know life happens and it's tough, especially this year, you know, lots of questions with COVID and I can answer any of that stuff. Um, but, you know, we take care of each other and as family. So that's what I really enjoy about working with this company. Okay. And then the people that do it, love it. So. Yeah, no, that's, I, I very rarely have ever seen a, a grumpy bus driver. Yeah, most of them are just awesome. And we have moms that can, especially Cal Spell, there's routes that the younger kids that are in school can join in. And so if you're just looking for something to get out, you know, a couple of times during the day, um, you can bring the little ones with you. And then, you know, retired folks also, you know, looking for doing, just to get up and go visit with people and have something to do. There's a lot of the groups kind of that we attract. Okay. And, and it's not, necessarily just for like school like morning after school routes right if somebody's interested in doing like field trips or things like that do you do that yeah. as well so it is about i believe hour and a half in the morning hour and a half in the afternoon you know a little montana area a little bit more rules so, i mean honestly i like that better um and then there are sports activities field trips um during the summer we try to stay busy with different act um Companies can contract us out for different things. Our McCall, um, Idaho location is a good one. They they do well, and you guys too, because you guys have river rafting. You guys have yeah. the tours, you know. So there's there's stuff like that that people will use this for the summer for. So yeah. you know, whoever is interested in that can do that. Um, what else was logging on? But yeah, so um, this is my first virtual one. So I <laughs> <laughs> we're doing awesome so far. Okay. <laughs> I miss it so much. I'm in Washington state. I'm located in like the Auburn Kent area, just out of Seattle and Tacoma. Okay. So I'm still really locked down uh, <laughs> and there's not a lot going on, you know, to recruit besides doing things online and talking to people that way and yeah. zoom meetings. But so I, I have got to travel to Montana over this last year and North Dakota and even, um, Minnesota. And uh, so that was nice to be able to go into those states where a little bit not so restricted. Yeah. Well, awesome. What, what are some of the like qualifications or somebody that's interested in a job? So we will train, fully train for free um, to get your, it's your class B CDL with passenger endorsement and school bus and air brake. Um, so if you are just interested and want to have, you know, so college kids, sometimes that's a fun thing to add on to your resume. You know, um, it, it shows that you put in that work, but um, also don't be intimidated. Like we're, we'll walk you through it. Um, sometimes we can put you on as a bus aid and different things to test it out and make sure it's the right fit. But um, our team in Calspell would train and get you through the process. Montana does take a bit. Um, it can be a, a two month period because uh, Montana has different waiting times. And then plus once COVID opened up, the schools opened up a little bit more, the DMVs have been really booked because okay. they, they don't want everyone packing in there. So it's appointment. And so it's taken a little bit longer, but um, at this point, we're kind of looking probably at the next school year for okay. anyone who, um, and we can train over the summer. And that's what we're going to do here in Seattle. We're going to get some classes going, train over the summer, and get some folks ready for the new school year. Um, if they do already have all that stuff, 
then it's a pretty quick process. We just need to get through the background and drug screen. Um, just do some check offs to make sure they know what they're doing on buses yeah. before we stick them on there. But it's a little faster. Okay. But the majority of people we hire have never driven a bus before. Okay. Cool. Is it, if somebody is pretty easy to move within the company, you know, if somebody's living in Washington, yeah. wants to move to Montana and they love driving buses and. I'm trying to do it. <laughs> <laughs> I know my husband, like, let's, let's go move. Um, so yeah, if they were going to move to like, so we have Libby, we have, um, and Manhattan, Whitehall, Stevensville, and Knoxon, all in Montana. Okay. And then we have um, McCall, Sandpoint, and Garden Valley in Idaho. And then a bunch with Sturges, Flandreau's, Sioux Falls. And then there's just a, but almost, it's almost the main busing um, company for North Dakota. So almost every, there's a lot over there. And then Washington, we have it in Spokane. And then the Auburn area, which is about 30 minutes out of Seattle. Okay, awesome. But yeah, we would just do a transfer and we would be able to do that. Okay, perfect. But and then you, with, I'm assuming you have to be 18, right? Yeah, oh, you know, uh, it is 21. Sometimes, 21. Okay. Yeah, sometimes we can do younger. Um, our insurance kind of requires they'd like five years of experience of uh, having your driver's license. Gotcha. So if somebody got theirs at 16 by the time they're 21. Okay. Um, they'll have the experience. But Cowspoke, folks, she's able to get away with a little bit more, but or you know, if they were 21 and didn't have five years, we probably could work with that. Okay. Yeah, no, that, that makes sense though. Yeah. And then we work with most the a lot of the school districts. Um they charter us out and then we do private schools and over here we do charter schools. I don't know if you guys have that, but so just some different things, but mostly working with the school districts, they do do fingerprinting mm -hmm. that can take two to three weeks. I know. So. Okay. And then if somebody just say you had like a teacher, somebody just wanted summer work, could they get on just doing some of the summer excursion stuff that you do, or, or do you try to get save those for the ones that are driving during the school year? Yeah. I think they save them for the drivers that have okay. been driving all year. So, they, and most of the drivers will claim unemployment during the summer, and then you can claim unemployment over the winter break. Okay. That's cool. Okay. Awesome. What, what do you? Is there anything kind of having weathered you know the pandemic and we're we're slowly getting back to something that looks more normal? But just in terms of growth at the company and everything, is there anything that you're very excited about coming down the pipeline? We are growing um, over here in the Seattle area. Like we were just like, my kid just started going to school last Monday for half a day. I mean, that's where we're at over here. Yeah. So it's definitely like different from all across all five different states. North Dakota, you guys have all been, you know, going most a year um, at some capacity. And then, um, but yeah, so we continue to grow. We're working with Landmark. And so we took on Sioux Falls, uh, it's actually called School Bus Inc but we're going to be overseeing them. And then there's another company in Oregon that we're looking at. So okay. um, we're definitely growing and getting bigger. The nice thing, the Montana ones are a little bit smaller. So again, that's nice. It's not so much going on, but um, as far as the pandemic goes, yeah, it's been a roller coaster, especially since this summer, as we knew that you guys were going to be opening up um, and then trying to work with our teams over the fear of, you know, getting in a bus, what's that going to look like? Do I, you know, are the kids masks? Are we going to have kids in every seat? You know, so um, we do, so we've worked with that. And our rule is, you know, whatever the school district's rules are, that's what we're going to abide by. And then we use this, we have a disinfectant it's called Virex, I believe it's called. So you put on a backpack and after every route, they go through and clean it off and, um, we have mass PPPE provided by FEMA, um, was given to us. So, so far, um, Bismarck had, a, we've had a couple people got sick at the very, 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 very beginning of September, but everything's kind of chilled out now. Yeah. I'm actually seeing it more over here in the South, my, my whole family got it <laughs> like two weeks ago. Um, and they were vaccinated twice. <laughs> 
So, but I thought it was weird that now I'm just starting to see it, but we're, we're in the Seattle area, just starting to kind of put our toes out of the water okay. and go see people. But, um, as far as the school bus drivers go and stuff, it's been a good experience. We haven't had people getting sick and stuff like that. And then we want people to stay home. If you are sick, like don't like, those are the new rules. It's not where we used to be like, I don't care. Get in here and come to work, you know, stay home. <laughs> so we're not going to fight you on it. <laughs> uh, well, I, I know the, the bus drivers for my daughter's school right, have been awesome and done, done a great job. So when we decorate, we have contests at Halloween and uh, Christmas uh, in Bismarck. We did a really cool trick or treat and we lined up all the buses out front and then the bus drivers decorated them all. And then the kids could go, you know, trick or treat at each one and visit each one. And it was a huge mm -hmm. hit. And Libby and Cowspell, they do the same, not that particular event, but uh, I'm going to encourage it, but they'll decorate their buses and, you know, just have fun with the kids that way. Awesome. Well, let me put up, I've got a slide here. Give me just one second. So that anybody who's interested Here's the phone number to call or the website. You can get on there and, and check out the jobs and, and apply there, correct? Yeah, actually, oh, I should have caught it. Our web, our new <laughs> our new website is harlowschoolbus.com. And I apologize, I didn't catch that. Oh, uh, no worries. We can fix and that right now. My contact information too. Sure. Okay. So Harlow School Bus. Yep, dot com. So we, we've been rebooting, we're rebranding, we're doing a lot of different things. Um, we That's what we spent most of the summer doing Okay. Um, while we were waiting. So um, Sandy is the general manager at the office in Kalispell, and you're welcome to walk in there. But the online application is available at the website, and I, I'll see that if you fill it out. Okay, perfect. Well, awesome. Well, thank you very much for taking the time to join us today and, and tell us about the opportunities you have. All right. Thank you. All right, have a great day. All right. Bye.